Uh, hello everybody, Nick Starship again. Uh, today is a special day. The Plains of Eidolon rework has arrived. As you can see in the background of this video, I will be downloading the update for it. It's at like one megabyte per second, blah, 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 just because everybody's doing it of throttling. But in the background, I do have the entire patch notes uh, to this. So it is called the Plains of Eidolon Remaster Update 24.6.0. Okay, what this means is basically they've added a couple things. Uh, right here, it's 2 gigabyte update. Big. That's that's big. So if you got shit internet, good luck. Uh, we've got some new floofs, some thermia changes. Uh, I don't think, I don't know if they added it to the tile regular noggle or whatever, like an OL. Uh, but yeah, they're just, that's basically the opening statement. So here we you can see here, cool map. Nice lighting, blah, blah, blah. This could be just cinematic, but we got a thumper. Okay, not important. Uh, planes conservation, you know, TLDR. Three new hunting methods to do in planes, probably for standing instead of just, like, doing bounties only and fishing and turning in gems because, you know, that's that's awful. So this is cool, okay? Because in Plains Island, there's probably not much going on, like, where these things will be. So for newer players, it'll probably be pretty easy. Like how this thing has kind of, like, spots like a cow. Here are the floofs for them. Uh, you could track them, blah, blah, blah. Echo lures and rarity boosters, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Some stuff to spend standing on. Uh, looks like they just continually roam. Echo lures are not required. Wow. Okay. That is huge. That means you can just farm these if you're fast enough. You could be the OG of hunting. That's nice. These are called a Murgo. So th these things, uh, an avian of, oh, okay, hold on, wait, I don't know, hold on, an avian of ridiculous appearance, I think this might be this thing, okay, alright, so basically it's by water, they squawk, the sight of marine predators, many Ostron fisher owe their lives to these odd little birds, cool, killing one is considered very bad luck, Monka S, okay, so that's what these are, I think these are the Murgos, okay, so it'll be probably this one. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so this is the Tusk Thumpers. It looks like there's three of them, three different variants, probably different levels. Uh, I don't think they'll do like a, like a Trilon sort of fight on it. Oh my god, they got floofs for Thumpers? Oh, that's dope. Uh, looks like they're not going to tell us how to do it, but, you know, let's be real. It's probably the legs or like a glowy spot underneath. They look cool, though. They look goofy. I like them. These look adorable. Uh, let's see. Economy Remaster. Oh, <gasps> What the fuck? No. Replaced arcane blueprints with arcanes in quills offering meaning. <laughs> they don't have to be built? That's huge. That saves hours. Same thing with Hawks. You don't have to build his. No. Owned Magus, Exodia, and Virtuous Arcane Blueprints? No way, dude. That's insane. That's huge. I have so many. Well, uh, wait, hold on. Exodia Contagion. <laughs> I have literally a hundred. I have literally a hundred Exodia Contagions. Holy shit, I'm going to be rich as fuck. Oh my god. Alright, added sell price to fish meat, 100 credits. That's meh. So you can like sell them, I guess. They replaced bait blueprints with actual baits, so you don't have to craft them anymore. That's good. Reusable fish bait blueprints can be sold for 100,000 credits. Rooks of a different time. Reusable fish bait. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Zaw handles now use fish oil instead of fish scales. Mount normal has 50 units, okay. Yeah. That noise you're hearing is everybody replying to this uh, post. Zaw handles, normalized fish costs across the amp blueprints. Some had five, some had two, now they're three. Okay, so some got a buff, some got a nerf. Remove Cetus Swiss costs from operator armor blueprints and replace them with Eidolon gems. Okay. This is all bullshit. Whatever. Moving on. New weapon. Cool. It looks dope. 
wonder what the stats are. Can't wait to go ahead and check that in. Um, maybe it's like it looks like it's just like impact off the top of my head. Maybe slash. They look cool. Just n nothing too crazy. Creator mode setting. We've added a new option called creator mode. Help players and content creators with a simple no distraction, no spoilers when this is toggling on. Fortuna Cit oh, okay. This is nice. This is nice. Lotus will no longer be as purple. Operator transitions will be voice only. Okay. Email on login screen will be all st stars. Wow. Okay, great. This is perfect for me. Okay. Because, like, whenever I'm streaming sometimes, it'll, like, um... It would close out, and then it would just, like, leak my email. That would that was bullshit. Fashion frame got a little bit more energetic. We got, oh, we got the dual colors. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. Ooh, yeah. I mean, ooh, yeah. Look at that. This is cool. This is going to help fashion frame for sure. They added some Warframe videos, so if you don't know what the hell you're doing. Added damage multiplier stat. When previewing Miasma. Okay. That's cool. Nothing too crazy there. Uh, Thermia Fractures. They looks like they changed how you could queue them up. That's alright. Kind of reduces the time based on the difficulty it looks like. Increase... Ooh, hold on. Enemy level burp. Increases the current enemy level. Oh, shit. Xmas burp. Ooh, my. This is crazy. Oh, wait, yo, what's this? Spawns Thermic Rachnoids, a new Rachnoid variant with a unique stat and aesthetic. That's cool. I don't like this one. <laughs> the damage output. Monka. Damage burst with 100%. <laughs> Dude, that's being great for team killing players if they're being douches. Okay. No. What? Look at this. Remove the cast on ground requirements. Well of Life, Energy Vampire can now be casted in the air. EV Trinity's got a buff. EV Trinity, Trinity is going to be lit. Frost Avalanche? Oh, I'm a Frost. I, I love that. That's great. Chroma Effigy can be casted in the air. Mag Crush can be casted in the air. Loki Radial Disarm can be casted on the air. You no longer have to have your feet on the ground. That's crazy. Uh, additionally, following abilities require ground to activate. But can now be casted in air. And will do a melee slam to the ground. Holy shit. That's cool. I like that. Rhino Stomp, Banshee, Oberon, Chorus, Nidus, Harrow. The Harrow. Or the Harrow. The Harrow is going to have to take a look at. Whip and Sword Slide Attacks. Now do the same damage with Stance equipped as without. Okay. Kills add charges up to five that release seeking projectiles and on slide attacks to stun enemies. Holy shit, that's big. What the fuck is this? The kneel is now automatic. Nunny? That's crazy. Tysis. Damage changed from 79 corrosive to 9 impact, 23 puncture. 17 slash and 81 corrosive delivered in three ticks of 27 each over two seconds. Oh, so Tice has got a buff. I got a I got a mod for that. Ogres converted the am the charge to semi auto. Oh shit! And they reduced the damage. They increased the area of effect. And reduce the AoE damage from 600 to 400. My boy Hulk ain't gonna like that. That shit got nerfed. Sonicore. Okay. We don't really need to worry about that. Ooh. Whoa. Wolf Sledge. Added a 200 explosive damage radial attack on recall. That's cool. It's like Lave then. Increase the range from 1 to 1 1.5. That's big. Increase melee damage from 115 to 130. That's big. Increase throwing projectile from 575 to 650. That's big. Reduce the collision width of the throwing projectile from 0 0.6 to 0 0.2. Yeah, it was weird. Increase the speed of the throwing animations. Nice. 
Signature weapon changes. Neil has a two-round mag when wielded by Harrow. Whoa, no way. Hold on. They're adding class-affected gear? Holy shit. Warframe-affected gear. Headshot kills with the Tenora with alt fire rate have a 20% chance to instantly refill the magazine. What the fuck? That's broken. <laughs> That's broken as fuck. Now, only headshot kills though. Headshot kills with alt fire increase reload speed by 20% when wielded by Octavia for Vitero. Eh. Naga na naga na 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 naga na na na. One meter and eight puncture when wielded by Garuda. Eh. Not gonna really see that. Gara. The fuselage increased projectile flight speed. The Volnus added a slam radial damage. Okay. Astilla. Additional 80 ammo pool. It's, it's, none of that means makes any sense. The Phantasma, though, has a 15 magazine when wielded by Revenant. That is nice. It's probably going to be broken, though, with the mods. Teco. Additional 6% status chance <laughs> when wielded by Atlas. God. So useless. Charge cap is 9 when wielded by Revenant. That is cool. So, what, what was it again for the Tatsu? At kills add charges up to 5 that release on slide attacks. So you just you just kill 9 enemies then as Revenant, right? And then you do a slide attack. And then it is seeking projectiles. Cool. Warframe sound downloading. We'll go in there in a bit. Here we go. The Wolf and other stalker type enemies now have a level cap of 45 for solo players and 60 for public squads. Significantly reduce the wolf's tankiness. Yeah, no shit. Alright, like, it took 15 to 25 minutes to take him on. Like, the fuck? Come on, DE. Thank you, though, for the patch. Nightwave changes. All the Wolf of Saturn 6 Nightwave episodes can now be viewed by selecting Tune In. Okay. And then we get to the meat of the changes and fixes. Matchmating Exploiter Orb can be done. Very good. So you don't have to, like, run over there. Hildren. Okay, so you could just cast and move and shoot. Cool. Chest and RP function no longer stacks with Desecrate. And other looting augments, pilfering and orgaze. This was creating some unintended double dips from a single corpse. The dead can only give so much. Shit. This is a big one right here. Atlas's passive prevents her from being affected by abilities and weapons that push or pull. So if you want to be a tank and you don't want to get knocked down and that's annoying to you, play Atlas. Restored ability for Baruch's Desert Wind Slam to pull enemies instead of pushing them by holding the block aim key. Yeah. That got broken with the melee changes. Rhino Stomp. Meh. Hydro Water Textures. Been updated. Meh. Okay. Killing enemies with the Operator. Will now grant the kill affinity to the equipped weapon when possible. It only took them like a year and a half. But, uh, you know, don't worry about that. Changed Operator Void Dash to no longer stop dashing when passing through allies and objects that bullets can pass through. Weird. Oh, okay, so that was just like a um, like a physical barrier thing. Typing an item name, i.e. Shred Ever Prime and Connex Prime in the trade screen bar will now display all the relics that contain them. Oh, that's cool. You can now also name and rename weapons that polarize as opposed to the strict ranked 30 requirement. Okay, so they just, you know, it's them trying to grab more plat. Warding Halo augment now takes yourself into the priority consideration before others, meaning the Warding Halo will now be cast on yourself opposed to allies if you're aiming at them. That's weird. So, you have to like, cast on yourself before you cast on someone else. Oh, fuck. Catch Moon's projectile will now only collide with world geometry when the center of it hits. That's a buff. That's not a nerf. That's a buff. That means that you can, like, shoot through enemies per and, like, hit them all, perhaps, and it won't, like, lose them. So I think that's a buff, based on what I'm interpreting here. So Catch Moon kind of got, got that buff. Monka. <laughs> 
Amalgamons can no longer be used on exalted weapons. There was like a thing with like Avara or whatever that you could like put it on and get like a double speed boost. Change high graphic settings to this. Shock camo, blah blah blah. Blah blah blah, doesn't matter. Here we go. Change tower white pigment to drop from Kuva Jesters instead of Condrox. And Mortis Pink to drop from Tusk Flame of Flame Blades instead of Kukas. Thank God. God, dude, that was absolutely, oh my god, I wanted to end it, I wanted to shoot myself, okay, JK, lol, in a video game, um, yeah, wow, what, change tower white pictures to drop 100% instead of 20%, chance to drop 5 for more consistent farming, yeah, it was literally AIDS. Uh, okay, some ability changes, Nora's blah blah blah, Arctic Eximus reduced visual thickness, okay, so it's a little bit thin. Position changes, position changes, teleporter to prevent players caught in endless teleporter loop, doesn't matter. Blah blah blah, blah blah blah, tweak the Odinata Prime's metallic materials, to appear more shiny and less dull. Interesting. Was banished timer, blah blah blah, blah 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 blah. None of this matters. Fixes. Riven dispositions not reflecting. Okay, they basically made sure they fix those. Uh, UI. Garuda's talons. Dispesso drive not applying the Garuda's talons. Cool. And <laughs> this time without breaking all arcanes. That's funny. Fixed clients sometimes getting boosted to Fortuna if they joined a session while it was transitioning. Okay. Crash. Defend. Drones. K drives. This is all. It's all whatever. I don't see anything that stands out yet. Oh. Fixed Hall of Ascension agility test contributing. That's like an exploit. Oh wow. Fix an issue when falling at the very end of Mastery 13 would make the id impossible. And this sucks. This is all it's all it's all bull. Yeah. I've seen this issue before the Zenistar bug. Damn, there's so much in his updates. Huge. No wonder they took so long. It is this that one doesn't matter? Handshake emote not initiating a handshake unless matching allied syndicate. What? Oh wow, that's weird. <clears throat> I don't see anything like that stands out in this area. It's all just dumb. All dumb. Yeah, here we go. Fixed Glade Prime being visible when viewing pre player's profile who have not unlocked their operator yet. I was looking at that. I was actually seeing a new player. Like, everybody had the Glaive Prime. Why the Glaive Prime, of all things? It was so weird. I was like, you have the Glaive Prime? He's like, no. <laughs> like, you're an MR1. You got the Glaive Prime? Fixed Doge Architect UI showing the number of room limit instead of the decoration limit. Okay. Yeah, I, I had that error. Fix broken lighting in a dojo, energy lab, blah, blah, blah. Uh, fix channeling, not recalling for your glaives, so that's good. Fix the ability equipped Amalgam Organ Shatter on arc melee weapons. That's weird. Critical focus not applying to charged shots like the Velocitus. Okay. Alrighty, so that's basically it. Uh, fix the inability to... Oh, here we go. Updating their cooldown timers. Okay. Yeah, so that's basically it for the update. The main part is TLDR, rework, hunting, new enemies, floofs, new weapon, energy colors, quality of life weapon changes. TLDR. That's basically it. Pretty easy, I'd say. 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hop in game now and go explore a little bit with that. And um, if I see anything uh, worth noting, I'll probably make a video on it. Maybe if I see anything broken, maybe check out some planes. Maybe geek a little bit while on Discord. Discord will be in the description. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. My name's Nick Starship. Maybe hit that notification button. And I will see you guys in the next video.